after, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, and welcome to CampusNation.com, the sports animal, your home for high school and college sports. Uh, today, we have uh, a live broadcast from Wilmington College. We have the Heidelberg Student Princes, and they are going to be taking on the Wilmington Fighting Quakers. The game will get underway in about uh, 18 and a half minutes. This is Rick Phillips, and uh, we'll see whether Travis O'Connor has made it up from the White Oak practice that he was in earlier today. If not, I'll do my best to bring you uh, all the action right here on CampusNation.com. We will also be box casting today. I'm not sure exactly when the box cast begins, I would imagine, in the next few minutes. Usually it's set for about uh, 15 to 10 minutes till the start of the game. So the game, of course, getting underway at 3 o'clock. We get underway just a little earlier to bring you some information on the teams, starting lineups, those types of things. And uh, for the... Uh, for the Wilmington, uh, for the series, Wilmington trails uh, the series 22 to 16. Uh, most uh, coming while members of the Ohio Athletic Conference. Uh, uh, so uh, Heidelberg has won the last four meetings. Uh, once again, these were all OAC conference games. Wilmington's college uh, men's team lost their third straight game to uh, open the Ohio Athletic Conference season, falling to Heidelberg 97 to 85, and that was back on December the 10th. Sophomore Kevin Lewis scored a career-high 17 points with a uh, team-high eight boards. He's reached double figures in three straight games and four of his last five games. Junior Christian Jones added 15 points, while freshman Noah Chapman finished with 11 points and eight boards. Junior Nathan Scott is starting to show his scoring potential and is coming off a career-high tying 20 points this past Wednesday in the victory over Otterbein, the Cardinals. He's reached double figures in five of the last seven games, and he's averaging a team-high 14.5 points in that span. In addition, his 12 points in OAC Conference games lead the team. Sophomore Andrew Russell returning to the starting lineup after a one-game hiatus and finished with 11 points Wednesday. After reaching double figures in each of the first five games, he achieved the feat in one of the next six. However, Russell has now reached double figures in three of the last five games, including a career-high 29 points against Capital. He also holds the Wilmington NCAA era record for the most made free throws without a miss, going 10 for 10 against Capital. Wilmington enters the game with four players averaging more than 10 points. Sophomore Andrew Russell leads the team with 11.7 points, while junior Christian Jones adds 11.5 points. Junior Nathan Scott coming off a career high tying 20 points is third on the team with 11.3 points, and freshman Noah Chapman adds 10.6 points. Freshman Noah Chapman currently leads the Ohio Athletic Conference, making 67% of his attempts. Earlier this season, he set a Wilmington NCAA record with 14 made field goals. Chapman just missed the NCAA rankings eligibility of 5.0 field goals made, converting 4.9 field goals. Wilmington's rotation features 11 players that are averaging at least 10 minutes per game, and only one player, junior Christian Jones, averaging more than 25 minutes a game. Wilmington is definitely deep. They're young. They're an exciting team to watch. Obviously, with a young and exciting team like this, they have their ups, they have their downs, but they've been playing pretty good at home. The home cooking has been doing pretty good. And of course, uh, the last game that they had with Otterbein is on the Campus Nation website, as are most of our home games that we uh, have here as far as uh, Wilmington College has been. The um, probable starting lineup for uh, the Heidelberg Student Princes, Kier Benny, the Avery Collins, Andrew Grothaus, Chris Moxley, and Prince Benson. For the uh, Quakers, uh, the probable starting lineups are DJ Isles, Christian Jones, Will Patrick, Andrew Russell, and Noah Chapman. Heidelberg's dropped seven consecutive games, including an 84-78 overtime loss to the Polar Bears of Ohio Northern. The last Berg victory came on December the 14th. Six of the seven losses have come in Ohio Athletic Conference action, with the last OAC win coming against Wilmington 
and that was on December the 10th in the 97-85 win. Chris Moxley came off the bench for 22 points, while Kier Benny added 18 and Mike Mason 10. Benny leads the team with 15.4 points, and he's reached double figures in eight of the last nine games. More than half of his shots are three-pointers, but he's also second on the team with 66 free throw attempts. His 86.4% free throw accuracy is fifth in the OAC, and he's tied for the team lead with Myron Pruitt with 14.6 rebounds. Pruitt, who has started eight of the team's 16 games, is third on the team with 11.6 points. Moxley is second on the team with 12.9 points and leads the team with 49 assists, 83 free throw attempts. His 42 turnovers are also second on the team. And uh, for Wilmington junior Nathan Scott, he's tied a career high with 20 points as the Wilmington College men's basketball team cruised to an 87-58 to win over the Otterbein uh, crew here on Wednesday. And of course, once again, that's on our website. Uh, this was an OAC action at Fred Risk Arena and right here at Herman Court. For just the fourth time this season, the Fighting Quakers shot over 50% and Wilmington moved to 3-1 and one when they make more than half of their shots. Wilmington shot a blistering 62.1%. That was 18 of 29 from the field, including 56.3%, 9 of 16 from the three-point range, in opening up a 22-point halftime lead. And they really coasted the rest of the game. While the uh, green-clad home team was torching the nets, their defense frustrated their opponents. Otterbein was just 9 of 25. That's 36% from the field and made just one three-pointer in eight attempts. Wilmington also recorded five of its season-high nine blocks over the first 20 minutes. The nine rejections were the most by a Wilmington College team since December the 20th of 2014. Scott and sophomore Andrew Russell combined for 31 points and 10 rebounds with Russell pulling down a career best nine rebounds. And junior DJ Isles dished out a team-high six assists while Jones added five dimes. Freshman Noah Chapman and Cameron Moore each established career highs with three block. So that's your information as far as the teams and of course the background on this rivalry. Uh, it is a league game, obviously OAC, and we've got about 11 and a half minutes before this game will tip off. So we're going to take a break here shortly. Uh, remember all of our broadcasts right here at Wilmington College bring, being brought to you by the Memphis style Southern Barbecue of Bogart's Barbecue, 975 South South Street, right here in Wilmington, Ohio. And of course their hours of operation are 11 to 5.30 Tuesday through Saturday and Sunday and Monday always closed during the winter season. So we'll be right back in just a minute. You're listening to CampusNation.com, the sports animal, your home for high school and college sports. Yeah. Uh, one of the coaches here. Yeah. 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 Ye
see your, uh, your brother is down there. He's got quite the pecs. <laughs> Fake. Oh, okay. I hate that when that happens. It's that little, like, cell phone foam stuff.
right, we have just over four minutes remaining before this tip-off. Uh, the uh, Fighting Quakers back out on the floor to the cheers of the uh, rabid fans. Heidelberg has been warming up now, uh, or their second, I guess you could say, set of warm-ups uh, for the last uh, six, eight minutes. Crowd is uh, filing in. Got a pretty good crowd. And obviously a very rowdy one. We've got uh, a lot of the uh, football team down here. Football team is excited with their new court, the coach, Coach Moore, and as well as uh, all Quaker fans throughout the country. remind you of some upcoming games that we have. This Monday, we are at Beaver Creek High School for girls high school basketball. The Bellbrook Golden Eagles will be in to play the Beavers. Uh, that game, let me make sure that I've got the time, because girls' time sometimes don't start the same time guys' time start. Yeah, that game will get underway with our pregame at 7 o'clock and the tip-off at 7.30. And that'll be from Beaver Creek. Then we come back to Wilmington for Wilmington High School. Actually, we're not going to be in Wilmington. We're going to be out in Fayette County, we go to Miami Trace. Uh, that team beat Wilmington. First SCOL loss in a couple years now for Wilmington. That team beat them by five earlier in the season, so Wilmington's going back, hopefully, to repay that favor, and we will be at Miami Trace. Once again, that game gets underway at 7 o'clock with a 7.30 tip-off from Trace. And uh, we'll be back here on Wednesday for women's college basketball. The Polar Bears of Ohio North Northern coming in to face the Wilmington Fighting Quakers. Uh, that game once again gets underway at 7 with a 7.30 tip. And then Friday, we finish out uh, the regular week. Uh, we are going to be at East Clinton in Lees Creek for boys high school basketball. The Hurricane go to East Clinton uh, to uh, for the second matchup with the uh, East Clinton Astros. And that will be this Friday at 7 o'clock. And then uh, the week finishes out uh, with a double header. Actually, it's a quadruple he header on the 28th of this month, which is this uh, next Saturday. We're going to be here for men's college basketball. The Purple Raiders of Mount Union will be in. That's a 2.30 uh, pregame with a 3 o'clock tip-off. And then we've got to go from here over to Wilmington High School for the Scholastic Play-by-Play. -play. This is the third annual. There will be six teams playing three games, Wilmington being one of them. And uh, Wilmington is going to be playing a formidable talent in the uh, Cincinnati Molar Crusaders. So they'll be in to face Wilmington. That will be, I believe, the night cap. And there will be two other games, four other teams. That will be listed on our website here shortly. We've got the teams. I just don't remember them, and I haven't put them on the website yet. So uh, uh, there will be plenty of basketball this next Saturday with the... Uh, the uh, game that we're going to have here from uh, from Wilmington College, and then the three games that we will have from Wilmington High School. In fact, I think that first game from Wilmington High School will actually take place part of the time that we have the uh, the men the men's high school game here at Wilmington College. So. Uh, always busy on Campus Nation, and we're about 30 seconds away from the uh, tip and the start of this game. Bill Learman is uh, the voice of the Wilmington Quaker uh, football, as well as uh, men's and women's basketball team, and the Wilmington High School uh, boys football team, and uh, he's going to be uh, giving us our Be Good Sports uh, I guess you could say disclaimer, and then we'll have the national anthem and get this game underway. You smell like brownies. Fresh baked brownies right out of the oven. I bet you've never been told that before, right? Okay, well, here's a first. Those the riders from Wellington College, the Ohio Athletic Conference, and the NCAA. They promote the ideals of good sportsmanship by demonstrating respect for all participants in the contest. Fans ridicule of the athletes, the coaches, the former officials is strictly prohibited. The grading remarks will not be tolerated and the grounds removal. Be proud, be loud, and be positive. 
Your official for today's contest are Mr. Mo King Cave, Mr. Jason Caturba, and Mr. Danny Frank. Prior to the introduction of starting lineups, let's pause now as we all as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem, the Star Temple Banner. Benny, starting for the uh, student princess, the Avery Collins, starting. Chris Moxley. Prince Benson. And Mike Mason getting the start. Now for your... Uh, Wilmington Fighting Quakers. DJ Isles. Will Patrick. Kristen Jones. Andrew Russell. And Noah Chapman. Our head coach, K.C. Hunt, and the head coach of the um, Student Princes, Andy Buhai. And if our football team plays with the intensity that they're cheering down there this next year, we're going to go undefeated, I just predicted. All right, 10 and 0. All right, getting ready for the tip. You're listening to CampusNation.com, the sports animal. We welcome everybody in on the Wilmington Quakers Boxcast. And those of you that might be listening in from uh, Heidelberg land, uh, welcome and uh, good afternoon. Getting ready for the tip. It's going to be hard to read these uh, Heidelberg numbers. They've got black uniforms, and the numbers are in red and black. And, of course, Wilmington in their traditional white this game. Wilmington gets the tip. And coming away with the tip. Looks like... Uh, DJ Isles had the ball, passed it off to uh, Andrew Russell, and he shoots a three, and it is good. So, first blood by the Quakers. They lead three to nothing. Heidelberg getting the ball down the court very quickly. And a shot by, it looks like, number 13, DeAvery Collins. He scores two there. Just off the uh, right elbow. Wilmington bringing the ball in. Looks like Heidelberg's going to do some pressing here, maybe even some trapping. 
They get across the center court line. DJ Isles passes off to uh, Kristen Jones. Over to Will Patrick. Will trap Patrick with the ball at the top of the key. Back to uh, DJ Isles. And then over to uh, Andrew Russell. He takes a shot for three, and it's good. Bill Wellington with two three-pointers. They lead six to two quickly. Again, down the floor for Heidelberg. Student Prince is coming out. They're working it around the circle. Trying to get it in, it looks like. Taken away. Kristen Jones with the steal. Going full court. Misses the uh, layup. And it's back to Heidelberg. Back down the court very quickly. Oh, looks like he's traveled. So actually uh, tripping, uh, it looks like over Andrew Russell, but uh, Andrew Russell not called with any foul or anything, so it is traveling. So Wilmington will have the ball underneath their basket, or uh, excuse me, underneath neath Heidelberg's basket, and we're bringing it in. Passes in to DJ Isles. He's being trapped in the corner, trying to get out. Almost a steal. Quickly down the court for the Quakers, and it looks like a nice block there. Heidelberg has the ball. Back down the court in the hands of uh, number 25, Chris Moxley. Passing around the key. Over the left side. A hook. No good. Back to Christian Jones, bringing it down in the hands of DJ Isles. Around quickly. DJ Isles with the ball at the top of the key. Off to Will Patrick. Over to Christian Jones. Christian Jones takes the shot. Little jumper there that he fingertip rolls in for another two. Eight to two, Wellington lead. Down the court very quickly. And we've got a foul. The shot has been made, so it is now eight to four. And uh, number 25 will be going to the line. Chris Moxley to shoot. A bonus. 17-32 remaining in this game. The Quakers are up 8-4. Moxley at the line to shoot the, uh, the extra point. And it's in and out. Picked up by Andrew Russell. DJ Isles down quickly. Pass and foul. Noah Chapman fouled as he tried to make a layup. Moxley with that foul. So Noah will be shooting two free throws. First one's up. And good. Nine to four. Got a nice crowd here today. Second one, not good. Rolls off, number two with the rebound, Prince Benson. Heidelberg down the floor quickly again. They're moving the ball. Benson out two. Over to Benson, he shoots for two. It's off the rim. Christian Jones with the rebound. It goes out of bounds, but it's on uh, Heidelberg, it looks like. So, Wilmington will be bringing the ball in. Christian Jones will be bringing it in, passing it in to, uh, and once again, uh, Heidelberg is pressing. Full court. In the hands of DJ Isles. Uh, he was, they tried to trap him, but over to Christian Jones, down the court very quickly. Remember, whenever you're trapping, there's always someone that's open as far as on the uh, opposition. So, DJ Isles with the ball. Passes out to Christian Jones. Jones driving, passing off to Will Patrick. Back over to Andrew Russell, kind of loses the ball but regains it and shoots from way downtown because the clock was going to run out and it is no good. Heidelberg's going to have the ball. You're listening to Quaker Men's Basketball on CampusNation.com, the sports animal, and on WilmingtonQuakers.com, their box cast. Heidelberg also receiving some uh, 
some pressing defense by the Quakers. So they're not bringing it down quite as quickly as they have been. Over the half-court line, number four, Kier Benny. And we got the, uh, oh, okay. So he was carrying the ball. Goes back to the Quakers, leading 9-4 to four with 16-27 remaining in this first half of play. Remember, in the men's game, we play halves. In the women's college game, we play quarters. And in both cases, we use a shot clock in college versus uh, high school with no clock. Quakers bringing it in. Once again, some pressure by Heidelberg. Down quickly. Andrew Russell with the ball. He shoots. It's off. Rebounded by Noah Chapman back out to DJ Isles. Shot no good. And we got a foul underneath the basket. Or is it out of bounds? We got a first of all an injury. Quakers down. So the Quakers will retain the ball. DJ Isles will be bringing throwing the ball in. Right under the Quaker basket. Passes it in. Working it around, back to DJ, goes in and throws it away. Trying to make the pass to uh, Andrew Russell and uh, just got away from him. So Heidelberg will be bringing the ball in. We've got a substitution. Nathan Scott is in the game. He replaces number 14, Andrew Russell. So the Heidelberg Student Princes bringing the ball in, or at least attempting to. Once again, Wilmington putting on some pressure of their own. Heidelberg still hasn't come over the half-court line and loses the ball as he comes over. It looks like uh, right now there's a scrum. Heidelberg still with the ball. Number, oh, nice three-pointer by... Looks like Michael Davis is in the game for Heidelberg. He made that three-pointer. Nine to seven, Quakers with the lead. DJ Isles, he gets fouled, it appears. Looks like in the act of shooting. That's the third team foul for Heidelberg. Uh, Wilmington with just one. So it looks like this is not in the act of shooting. Wilmington's going to be bringing the ball in. We've got some wholesale replacements here for Wilmington. Uh, Peyton Smith is in. Andrew Russell, no, uh, Cameron Moore is in. And number 25, Nathan Scott back in. Ball, we tried to bring it in. It was deflected by Heidelberg, uh, still Wilmington's ball. Gets the ball in to number 24, Cameron Moore, and he makes the two-point play. We got a timeout by uh, Heidelberg uh, with Wilmington leading 11-7, 15-35 remaining in this first half of play. You're listening to CampusNation.com, the sports animal, your home for high school and college sports, and also on the WilmingtonQuakers.com box cast. This is Rick Phillips with all the action. Thirty-second timeout for the Heidelberg Student Princes, and they will have the ball when play resumes. Down eleven to seven. All right, Heidelberg brings the ball in. Wilmington still uh, applying some pressure. Looks like they may be trying to trap. Yes, they are. Almost stolen. They get it over the uh, half-court line. A three-point shot, and it's good. Andrew Gulhaus. Wilmington bringing the ball in with pressure from Heidelberg and almost throws it away. Number 10, uh, Jordan Jones now with the ball. Over to number 11, Peyton Smith. And to Kevin Lewis. A shot and good by number 25, Nathan Scott. Wilmington leads 13 to 10. And they take the ball away. A quick, quick steal and basket by Kevin Lewis. Quick hands. Some of this Wilmington pressure is getting to the uh, student princes. Back across the timeline. Working the ball around, top of the key. Drive to the basket, back over for three. And we've got a foul. Number 10, Jordan Jones fouls number 11, 
Michael Davis. Michael Davis was in the act of shooting, and that looks like it'll be maybe three. Nope. So here's the first of three. First one's good. 15 to 11. Second one is good. 15 to 12. Davis looks like a pretty good free throw shooter. So the uh, Student Princess can pull within a basket here if he makes this one. And they do. 15 to 13. 429 remaining in the first half of play. Quakers trying to get the ball in. A lot of pressure by the Student Princess. They have to call timeout. So Wilmington with a timeout because they were unable to get the ball in. Didn't want to turn it over. Today's game being brought to you by Bogart's Southern Barbecue. That Memphis-style barbecue, you can dine in, you can go through their drive through to pick up, or you can carry out. Their hours of operation Tuesday through Saturday from 11 to 5.30. And they're not open on Monday, they're not open on Sunday, at least for the winter. Four twenty Mach 9 remaining in the first half, 15 to 13. Quakers with a two-point lead. They will be bringing the ball in. Maybe they'll have a little better opportunity to get it in. Uh, Heidelberg uh, playing a tight full court. Wilmington gets the ball in. It's in the hands of Peyton Smith. Oh, and he loses the ball. Heidelberg drives to the basket, misses. Wilmington with the uh, rebound. Quick to number 24, Cameron Moore. And uh, looks like Cameron is fouled. He's asking for an intentional foul, it looks like. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. Refs are discussing it, so we'll see. That does look like an obvious intentional foul there. All right, it is an intentional foul. So... Cameron was right. He signaled himself right after the foul. So Cameron will shoot two shots. Oh, first one short. KC Hunt saying, make those baskets. Second shot. Oh. Another miss. So both shots by Cameron Moore. Nada. But the Quakers will have the ball because it was intentional. They'll be taking it out underneath their basket. Once again, being pressured. Working the ball around. Right now in the hands of Nathan Scott, he takes the three-point shot, and it's good. Fighting Quakers up 18 to 13. Quickly down the court for Heidelberg. Working it around, up to the top of the key, driving the basket. Over for a three-point by number 25, Chris Moxley. It's 18 to 16. Quakers have the ball. Peyton Smith with the ball, just holding it out up top. Trying to get their play set up. Jordan Jones working the ball around on the right elbow. Into number 24, Cameron Moore makes the turn and lays it in. We have a technical foul. And it probably will be on Cameron Moore, I would imagine. Maybe some uh, trash talk when he made the uh, basket. Not the first time we've had something like that happen. Yes, 
Okay, so Cameron Moore with a foul. This is a technical variety. Probably something he said when he made the basket. With 13-22 in the uh, first half, the score is Wilmington 20 and uh, 16 for uh, the Student Princes, but there will be some foul shots on this technical. Number four, Pierre Benny makes his first one. It's 20 to 17. Benny for the second shot. And it too is good. And Heidelberg will have the ball out as a result of the technical foul. So it is 20 to 18. Wilmington once again pressing full court and attempting to uh, press and trap Heidelberg. They get it in. Right now trying to get it over the half court line. Still not, and now the Quakers sort of back off. Heidelberg coming in, working it around. Number four, Kier Benny makes the shot. He's under the basket and his second put up is good. So we are tied up now, 20 to 20. Wilmington trying to get the ball in, they get it in. Bringing it up is number two, Christian Jones. Over to Peyton Smith. Peyton Smith now way out, almost at the half court line. He's on the W, the Quaker W. Bringing it in now, trying to drive basket. He does, but it's rejected by Heidelberg. They're back down the court, up for a basket, and it's good. That basket made by Chris Moxley. Drove the length of the court, put it up, and it was good. Quakers back with the ball, across the half court line. Now over to uh, Christian Jones. And we've got a foul, it's off ball. That was on Benson. Heidelberg with five fouls now, Wilmington with three. And Heidelberg with the lead now, 22 to 20, but Wilmington will be taking the ball out underneath their basket with 2.21 remaining in the first half of play. Quakers get it in, almost stolen away. Number 25 with the ball right now. Nathan Scott over a shot, and it is missed for three points. Chris Moxley bringing the ball back down quickly again, drives to the basket, and it's good, and he's fouled. So Moxley takes the ball the length of the court, lays it up, and he is fouled in the process. It is now 24-20, Heidelberg up by four points, and they can make it five if Moxley can complete this uh, three-point play. And it's good. Nathan Scott going out and back in Andrew Russell. Quakers bringing the ball in. 25-20, the uh, student princess up on the fighting Quakers. Quakers getting the ball down over the half court line. Will Patrick with the ball, it goes out but remains with Wilmington. Heidelberg trying to trap, almost did. Christian Jones gonna pass the ball in to number 30, Nathan Chapman, or Noah Chapman. Ball being worked around, still at the top of the key in the hands of, uh, looks like William Green. Back out to uh, Andrew Russell, over to Christian Jones. Quick one by number 14, uh, Andrew Russell, and it is missed, but the ball goes out off of Heidelberg, so the Quakers will have the ball again underneath their basket. Trailing now 25 to 20 with 11.38 remaining in the first half of play. William Green is gonna try to get the ball in, does, gets it over to Christian Jones. That's passed off to number 12, William Green. Green over to number three, Will Patrick. Patrick at the top of the key. Quick three, and it's missed by uh, Andrew Russell. Heidelberg back up the floor, quickly up the floor. Wilmington dropping back. Bad shot. We get 
Jump ball. And it will remain with Heidelberg because of the jump ball. DJ Isles back in the game. Looking for someone to bring it in. Finally get the ball in. Heidelberg with the ball. And uh, looks like we've got a foul. And it's a charge. Heidelberg with the charge. Kind of ran Noah Chapman down going to the basket. That is uh, Heidelberg's sixth foul. Four to Wilmington. The length of the court pass inbounds. Quick hitter. And misses the layup is uh, Noah Chapman. Back down to Heidelberg. Down quickly. Working it around. Under the basket to number one, Mike Mason. Ball's lost and back to Wilmington. Little shake up there. Quakers back across the timeline. Working the ball around. We got a three-pointer shot. And uh, no good by uh, Andrew Russell. Back in the hands of Heidelberg. Back down on the uh, left elbow of the uh, court. Back out to the center court there. Number 25, Chris Moxley. Driving to the basket. Dishes off to number 13, DeAvery Collins. Basket's good. 28-20. Heidelberg building their lead to eight points. We're still not over the half-court line. Now we are, and we got a timeout by Wilmington. Casey Hunt wants to talk this over. This is a 30-second timeout. You're listening to CampusNation.com, the sports animal, your home for high school and college sports. Today, live from Wilmington College, the Heidelberg Student Princess, hosted by the Wilmington Fighting Quakers. And I think we've got Heidelberg Radio here as well. I don't know whether it's actual radio or an internet broadcast like we do. But anyway, they are there. And uh, if you know Wilmington's uh, Herman Court, they are in the balcony overlooking uh, the uh, court. Good crowd here on hand for this game today. We've got the uh, football team in force showing their Quaker pride and spirit. Uh, they got some odd outfits on, but uh, other than that, uh, the football team, they're dressed in all kinds of different things, from coconuts to you name it. I've even got Superman in the booth with me here, a football player. So, All right, Quaker's going to bring the ball in. They get it in. Number 25, Nathan Scott with the ball, passing it over to number 30, Noah Chapman. Back to number 25, Nathan Scott, over to DJ Isles, number 5. DJ with the ball on the, uh, oh, almost travels. And we got a foul. Will Patrick is fouled. Or are they going to call that on DJ? No. Yep. CJ Marshall with the foul. And that is uh, Heidelberg's seventh foul. So we're going to be shooting a one and one and going to the line, Will Patrick. 10.02 remaining in the first half. Heidelberg up 28 to 20. See if we can cut it uh, to six point lead. First one is good. And Will's second shot goes in and out. Rebounded by Heidelberg being brought back up the court over the timeline. A quick three-pointer from the corner, which is good. And that is made by, let me see if I can. That was number 24, Malik, or Malik Quisenberry. Wilmington with the ball over the timeline. DJ Isles with the ball once again on the Quaker W. Got it out, trying to set up a play. Over to Christian Jones, and then back to uh, number 25, Nathan Scott, with a shot, no good. Back to Heidelberg. Heidelberg back down the court over the timeline in the hands of number five, C.J. Marshall. Uh, tries a pass, almost rejected, and then back, and a three-pointer again. So... <laughs> Three 
Three point, uh, 34-21 lead, 13 point, double digit Heidelberg lead. Wilmington with a quick hitter under the basket to number 30, Noah Chapman with the put in. 34-23, Heidelberg kind of fell asleep on that one. They're bringing the ball back down. Back out at the volleyball line, they're on the W. Setting up their play. Pass to the corner, quickly around, back inside. Back out to the corner in the hands of uh, Malik Quisenberry. A shot, three-pointer. Thirty-seven twenty-three with eight twenty-three remaining. Heidelberg on a run here. They're burning up the three-point play. Wilmington with a three-point missed by Will Patrick. We've got uh, back in the hands of the Quakers, number twenty-five. And what do we got here? Will Patrick makes a basket, but I don't know if the basket counts. I don't even know who the foul's on. Nope, basket's waved off. Looks like Heidelberg's happy with the results there. All right, so the foul is on Quisenberry of Heidelberg. Basket is no good. Got to see who goes to the line here. Or maybe it's just going to be side... Well, it's going to have to be one and one. A lot of activity, no action here. All right, Christian Jones is going to be shooting foul shots. He'll be shooting a, a one and one. Heidelberg with eight fouls. Wilmington with just four. Heidelberg with the lead, 37 to 23. Jones will try to cut into their lead here at 8.08 remaining in this first half of play. First shot up by Kristen, and uh, it's good. Jones's second shot, it too is good. 37-25, 8.08 remaining in the game. Heidelberg bringing the ball down. Quakers are not pressing. Heidelberg working around, but there is a, a reach-in foul, looks like. Looks like Christian Jones committed the foul. No. What are they saying here? Wilmington's going to have the ball side out in front of their bench. Christian Jones bringing it in. So Moxley has the foul. That's his second personal. The team is has nine fouls. Wilmington bringing the ball up right now in the hands of Lewis. Back over to Christian Jones. Back over to DJ Isles. On the left elbow to Christian Jones. Back over to Isles. Isles back to number 25. Nathan Scott. Good for three points. 37-28. Nine point lead by Heidelberg. 7-24. Heidelberg back down the floor. Working the ball around. Almost stolen away by Christian Jones. Good hustle, good defense. Got some substitutions for Heidelberg. We'll uh, catch you up as, they, uh, as they're playing in the game. Here, Benny bringing the ball in. Heidelberg now with the ball in the hands of C.J. Marshall. D.J. Isles on him. Marshall takes it over, back out to the top of the key, over to Marshall. Marshall working the ball around, and time runs out. So Heidelberg not paying attention, let the shot clock run out, so it's going to go back to Wilmington. Seven minutes remaining in this first half. Heidelberg up 37-28. Wilmington will be bringing the ball in. Full court pressure again by Heidelberg. And brought in DJ Isles with the ball over the half court line. Driving to the basket. Stops. Pulls back. Off to number 25. Nathan Scott with the three-point play. Wilmington on a roll. 37-31. Heidelberg leads. The ball is back out. DJ Isles almost had the uh, Heidelberg... Uh, Student Princes with a turnover here, but they will retain the ball. 
Wilmington back with some full court pressure again. Not going to pressure the ball in. Ball's brought in. Heidelberg coming up the court, across the half court line. Working it around on the left side, trying to pass it in quickly. And we've got a foul. Kevin Lewis with the foul. Wilmington's uh, fifth foul. And going to the line to shoot two. Looks like Mike Mason will be at the line. 6.33 remaining in this first half of play. Mason's first shot. No good. A little too hard. Second shot, and it's good. Seven point Heidelberg lead, 38-31. Pressing Wilmington, Wilmington getting it in. DJ Isles with the ball. Being trapped, gets it up to number four, Kevin Lewis, who goes to the basket. No good. And attempt by Cameron Moore, number 24, goes up. He is fouled. That'll be the 10th foul, so this is a double bonus, but he's shooting two anyway this time around. So Moore will go to the line to shoot two, try to tighten this lead. So Heidelberg has 10 fouls to Wilmington's five. First one by uh, Cameron is good. 38-32. Prince Benson comes in for Heidelberg. Moore with the second shot. It too is good. Wilmington cuts the lead to five. 38 to 33 with 622 remaining in this first half of play. Heidelberg bringing the ball in across the half court line in the hands of CJ Marshall. Passing it around, still at the uh, left elbow, driving to the basket, and no foul called. C.J. Marshall going to be passing the ball in, D.J. Isles on him. We've got five on five, number five on number five. Passes it in, quick pass, Heidelberg with the ball. Back to C.J. Marshall, goes up for the basket. He is fouled in the process of shooting. He'll be shooting two. That's Wilmington's sixth foul. Cameron Moore's second foul. And Wilmington's sixth foul to Heidelberg's tenth. First shot is good. So Marshall with his first shot. Coming into the lineup for the Quakers, Andrew Russell back in. Cameron Moore is going to take a seat. Second shot is good. 40 to 33, seven point lead. Quakers trying to get the ball in, they do. Christian Jones bringing it up, passing it to Kevin Lewis. Heidelberg steals the ball away, and they're back down. Trying to pass the ball around, find an open shot. Almost lost the ball, and they do, actually. Looks like Kevin Lewis with the ball, pass to DJ Isles, and DJ with a bad pass. Heidelberg back with the ball, coming down the court, and that as, oh, that's a block. It looked like a charge to me. <laughs> So Lewis is going to be called for this blocking foul. Or no, that's Jones. Jones called with a block. 42-33, we're going to be going to the line to shoot two for Heidelberg. 5.39 remaining in the first half of play. First shot, good. 
and only shot because he made the basket. 43-33, 10 point Heidelberg lead. Quakers with the ball, bringing it in. DJ, over to Andrew Russell, over to, uh, back in the hands of Christian Jones, back over to Nathan Scott, he drives to the basket, tries to put a little one up, and it rolls in. 43-35, Scott with that basket. Heidelberg quickly back over the half court line. Wilmington not pressing this time down in the hands of Prince Benson. Stolen away. And stolen back away by Heidelberg. Bringing it back down, trying a quick hitter in the corner for three and uh, off. Quakers with the ball. DJ Isles with the ball, bringing it up over the half court line, driving to the basket, and it's stripped away, but the foul is called. So that will be a two point shot for uh, DJ Isles. CJ Marshall with the foul. DJ shooting the uh, double bonus. 4.47 remaining. First one's up and good. Some substitutions for both teams. All right, second shot by DJ Isles. It's up and good. Six point Wilmington lead. We've got a stoppage here. They're bringing in uh, Peyton Smith. Smith in the game. Heidelberg uh, bringing the ball in now. Wilmington with uh, not really a lot of pressure over the half court line in the hands of Chris Moxley. Top of the key, working the ball around, trying to get it inside. Oh, jump ball. Ball goes back to Wilmington on the jump ball. Wilmington trying to get the ball in, into Peyton Smith. Smith with the ball, back over to uh, William Green. Up quickly. Number 10, Jordan Jones with the ball. Back over a three-point attempt by uh, number 25, Nathan Scott, and it's a miss. Heidelberg back up the court very quickly. Well, they're saying Wilmington tried to recover the ball and get it back in, and uh, he stepped on the line. So it'll stay in the hands of Heidelberg, leading 43-37 to with 4.01 remaining in this first half of play. They'll be bringing the ball in underneath their basket, and they get it in. Back out to the top of the key. Chris Moxley. Twenty-four is uh, Malik Quisenberry, right? Stolen by Wilmington, and we've got a foul. William Green was attempting a basket. He was fouled. Yeah, Malik with the foul. You hexed, you hexed him. You hexed him. He got the foul. He's he's a stud. He's pretty good. Yeah, uh, he's pretty good, huh? Up. First shot by William Green, not good. Just rolled off around the basket. 3.43 remaining in this first half of play. Heidelberg in the lead, 43 to 37. Second one, and it is good. 43-38, Heidelberg bringing the ball up the court. Trying to take it up to the basket and a foul on uh, number two, Prince Benson. And let's see who committed the foul. Did 
didn't get who actually committed the foul for Wilmington. Benson will be shooting two. First one's up. And good. Some more substitutions for Heidelberg. So Wilmington now has eight fouls to the ten fouls of Heidelberg. Second shot up. And good. So the score is 45-38. We have uh, the Student Princes up on the Fighting Quakers. The Quakers will be bringing the ball in. And once again, we've got full court pressure by the Student Princes. And what do we got here? All right, going to start the playback. 3.29 remaining in this first half. Ball brought in by the Quakers and throws it away. Now, the Student Princes actually have the ball, bringing it back across the half-court line. Wilmington with a bad throw there. Heidelberg working it around top of the key. Over to number 13, D'Avery Collins. And a shot, which is good for two. So Collins with the two points, 47-38. Heidelberg in the lead. Quick passing, but bad passing. It looked like Jordan Jones thought that perhaps there was going to be a quick cut to the basket by Andrew Russell. Andrew Russell just stood there and watched the ball go uh, the opposite direction. So a turnover by the Quakers. Not good ball handling there. 2.58 remaining in the first half of play. They are down 47 to 38. Heidelberg across the uh, half court line. In the hands of Michael Davis. And we got a, got a foul. Got a foul. So Davis with the foul. And because they were in possession, it is a non-shooting foul. So Wilmington will bring the ball inside out in front of their bench. Gets it into DJ Isles. Isles being trapped. Gets it back off to uh, Kevin Lewis. And then back to DJ Isles. In the corner. And we've got three. Nathan Scott with a three-point. 47-41, a six-point Heidelberg lead. Wilmington trying to claw back in this one. Heidelberg with the ball, top of the key for uh, Michael Davis. Over to uh, De'Avery Collins. Collins driving, tries to put it up. Wilmington with the rebound. Number three, Will Patrick with the ball over to DJ Isles, bringing it down very quickly. Back out to number three, over to number four, Kevin Lewis with three. Three-point lead, 47-44, 155 remaining. The Quakers uh, fighting back. It's out on Wilmington. Heidelberg was trying to drive, put the ball up, but it was off uh, an attempted block by Wilmington, but off uh, Wilmington and uh, Heidelberg will be bringing in once again under their basket with 146 remaining in this first half of play. Just with a three-point lead, Wilmington has reduced their lead. Heidelberg back with the ball, almost loses the ball, goes up for two points, no good. Wilmington with the ball. Nathan Scott passing it over to DJ Isles. Isles on the right side, setting up a play. Clearing everyone out. Right now we got a screen. DJ Isles back out. Sets it up for a three-point shot by number 25, Nathan Scott. No good. Heidelberg back with the ball. And back down the court. Three-point shot, or at least an attempt, by Prince Benson. He decides not to take the shot. Shot up by uh, Heidelberg. No good. And the uh, rebound by Kevin Lewis. DJ Isles bringing the ball back up. We've got one minute remaining in the first half of play. DJ Isles with the ball. Passes it off to Nathan Scott. 
over to Will Patrick. Back to Will Patrick. Thought about a three, stopped. Pass in to number 30, and a great reverse by Noah Chapman, and he's fouled after making the two points. Chapman's going to go to the line, and he can tie it up with 44.6 seconds remaining in this first half of play. Great Wilmington fight Quaker hustle. Oh, no miss. All right. So we trail by one, 47-46 Heidelberg with the ball, bringing it back down quickly. Almost looked like a charge there. Heidelberg puts it back up and in. That was Benson that made the two-pointer. It's 49-46. So three points to tie this baby up with 25 seconds remaining in this first half of play. DJ Owls, he turns the ball over. Oh, we actually have a charge. Isles charged with the charge. 22.1 seconds. Heidelberg will have the ball. Side out in front of their bench. No pressure by the Quakers. They're just set up in defense. Got man to man it looks like, or maybe even possibly a... Got Quakers in man to man defense. Number 25 trying to drive the basket, Chris Moxley. Ball in the hands of number two, and he sinks the basket. Prince Benson, 51 to 46, as time runs out in this first half of play. 51 to 46, the student princes over the fighting Quakers. You're listening to CampusNation.com, the sports animal. You're home for high school and college sports. We're going to be breaking here shortly. And then we'll come back with some stats, some first half stats. Right now, the Quakers trail 51 to 46 on Campus Nation, and I uh, want to remind you, uh, before we depart, that our next event will be uh, a game that we will have uh, this coming Monday. Uh, it'll be the Beaver Creek Beavers against the uh, Bellbrook Golden Eagles. This will be uh, girls basketball. It'll be 7 o'clock for our pregame on Monday, so tune in. We'll be back in just a few minutes.
We're back, and uh, we're still in halftime. There's about eight and a half minutes before we get the game back underway, but we do have stats. Give you some information on the first half of play. And uh, first for the Heidelberg Student Princes, who have the lead 51 to 46 at the halfway mark. Uh, they have shot 59.3%, shooting 16 of 27. They are 7 for 9 for 77.8% from the free throw over the three-point line. And from for three free throws, easy for me to say, 12 of 14 for 85.7%. For Wilmington, their uh, field goal percentage, 45.5%, still not too hateful, 15 of 33. 3 point, 7 for 15 for 46.7 percent, very good, and uh, free throw, 9 for 15 for 60 percent. Score's been tied uh, one time, the lead's changed obviously one time, and the largest lead has been held by Heidelberg by 14, and that was in the first half at the 8 point 39 mark. The Wilmington led by six in the first half at the 17.39 mark. So anyway, uh, as far as uh, individual statistics here, 
we have uh, for the Heidelberg Student Princes, Prince Benson with six points, Mike Mason with one point, Pierre Benny with four points, Avery Collins with ten, Chris Moxley with ten, C.J. Marshall with two, Michael Davis with twelve, Andrew Grohaus with three, Malik Quisenberry with three, and then for the Fighting Quakers, Andrew Russell with six, Noah Chapman with five, Christian Jones with four, Will Patrick with a point, DJ Isles with two, Kevin Lewis with five, William Green with a point, Cameron Moore with six, and leading everyone in scoring on both teams, Nathan Scott with 16. For uh, Heidelberg, they have 14 points in the paint to Wilmington's 12. The uh, second chance points, five for Heidelberg, four for Wilmington. Fast break points, 14 for Heidelberg, 10 for Wilmington. And an off the bench, both teams almost even, Heidelberg with 20 and uh, Wilmington with 28 points. Heidelberg has eight points off the timeout and uh, Wilmington with 15 points. So there's your first half stats for the uh, for the teams with Wilmington trailing right now by five, 51 to 46, and we've got about uh, five minutes and 20 seconds remaining in this uh, halftime. So. Uh, I want to remind you that uh, halftime, as well as the game, is brought to you by Bogard's Memphis Style Southern Barbecue. They're at 975 South South Street, right here in Wilmington, Ohio. And they're open today until 530. They're open from 11 to 530, Tuesday through Saturday. And then, of course, Sunday and Monday, they are closed during their winter schedule. They have uh, carry-out. They have dine-in. They have a drive through so uh, give them a call or stop by and have some delicious barbecue at Bogart's Memphis-style Southern Barbecue right here in Wilmington, Ohio. Some other information for those of you along the network that may not be familiar with some of the stuff that we're doing. Besides high school and college sports, we're adding pro sports uh, here in the spring. Campus Nation has an agreement with the new arena football team in Cincinnati, the men's team. They are called the Cincinnati Flex. Uh, in fact, we're going to have the owner of the Cincinnati Flex on our sports show. Uh, that'll be this Thursday night, and that is from... Uh, Fiesta Vera Cruz restaurant here in Wilmington, Ohio. We do the Campus Nation Sports Planet Sports Show, and that'll be on uh, at 6 o'clock this Thursday night. We'll have the owner of the Flex, and we'll be talking arena football and uh, the Flex and the league that they're in. And then also, uh, coming this spring, actually uh, in May, we will be doing women's football. Uh, this is outside football, and they'll be in full attire. This is not uh, your, your uh, lingerie, I guess, uh, football. They wear pads. They wear uniforms. Uh, and uh, the women, uh, they play in the uh, Women's Football Alliance. There are about 65 teams that play in that alliance. It's a nationwide alliance been in operation for a long time. Actually, there were three leagues that formed the alliance, and uh, we'll be following uh, several of the teams in the Midwest. We uh, are going to follow the the Pittsburgh Passion, uh, the Chicago Fusion. Ohio has three teams. They have a team uh, in Columbus, actually four teams, but in the uh, northern part of the Midwest Division, uh, in the, the National League, the national part of that, uh, we have a Toledo team, a Cleveland team, Columbus team, the Comets, and uh, then there is a Southern Division team that is uh, actually owned, uh, I think, by Icky Woods, uh, and uh, that, uh, the Cincinnati team, uh, will try to get some games in as well. So. Uh, coming up on Campus Nation, professional women's and uh, men's arena football, women's outdoor football. Teams are back out of the court. They're warming up. 
I'm flying solo tonight. Uh, Charlie Hargrave has his daughter up in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. For uh, She uh, has joined a drama and bugle corps. They're quite renowned. I've, the name escapes me. But uh, anyway, uh, as a freshman, it's quite an honor for her to be in this. And uh, she's up there. They have, I guess, these periodic weekends up to the point where she spends the entire summer with them and they go all over the country uh, playing. But uh, so Charlie and Rachel, uh, they're up with uh, Crystal, their daughter. Uh, they're in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He, sh he showed me uh, or sent me a picture last night from uh, a McDonald's there, and they have uh, the McDonald's have cheese curds, is what they're called, and sausage on their menu, uh, sausage links. Uh, and uh, uh, he showed me, uh, to me it looked kind of disgusting, but you know, I guess some people thought it looked good. But anyway, uh, that, uh, that's where Charlie is. Uh, Travis O'Connor, he uh, has a practice, uh, he's the assistant coach for the boys at White Oak, and he's involved there. Jeff Craycraft, East Clinton had a girls basketball game today, and uh, Joe Davis, uh, he was refing today. So. Most all my crew was unavailable, so I'm here uh, flying solo. Uh, we are going to have on our Campus Nation website uh, our audio. I'm not sure whether we'll post the video. The video we are running, but it is a arena shot and probably would be fairly difficult to pick out any individuals uh, because they would be much too small from our vantage point up here in the uh, press box. Uh, but uh, we'll decide when I take a look at the video whether we want to include the video with the audio or whether we'll just have the audio. But we're going to be getting underway now. We've got about 15 seconds to go for the second half of play. Wilmington is down by 5, 51 to 46. But there, towards the end of the first half, they made a good comeback. They have been down by as much as 14. And uh, we'll see if they can complete that in the uh, second half and pull this win out for the... Uh, for the home team and uh, and the crowd that is here, and it's quite a, a raucous crowd. We've got the football team here in all kinds of weird attire. They're dressed up with everything from superheroes to uh, Hawaiian uh, coconut people with their uh, hats on and everything. Heidelberg's going to have the ball out, side out uh, to begin this. They're going to be going from right to left. Wilmington will be going left to right. Heidelberg brings the ball in. Wilmington uh, just playing man-to-man -man right now. DJ Isles uh, pressing right now on uh, Chris Moxley. Moxley passes over to Prince Benson, and Benson uh, passes it over to number 13, DeAvery Collins, who misses. Ball comes off to Wilmington. Wilmington bringing the ball back up. Over to number three, Will Patrick. Will Patrick back to DJ Isles. Over to Christian Jones, and up to Noel Chapman, who makes another basket. And now a three-point lead, 51 to 48. Heidelberg bringing the ball down quickly in the hands of Kier Ben. Benny, uh, uh, he, I guess it was off Wilmington. So Benny passes the ball. It's deflected by Wilmington. The student princes will retain possession and they'll be under their basket. Once again, the student princes' outfits, they are, I guess that's an orange color along with orange or red along with black. And it's hard to see their numbers sometimes. So what we have a foul. It looks like a player control, an offensive foul. It's going to go back to Wilmington. Wilmington down by three, 51 to 48. That's Heidelberg's first foul in the second half. Or no, Wilmington with one foul. That wasn't a foul. That must have been out. So no foul. Wilmington with the ball over the timeline. DJ Isles with the ball under the basket brings it back out. DJ Isles driving, passing off to number 30. Christian Jones over to DJ Isles who makes three points. Three point shot by DJ Isles. We're all tied up folks. Heidelberg with the ball back over, working it around. Out to the top of the point. Shot is up and good and that is by Moxley. Moxley with that basket. They lead 53 to 51. Wilmington getting it up. Heidelberg pressing. But Wilmington getting up very quickly. Two-point shot missed by uh, Andrew Russell. Heidelberg back of the ball over the timeline. Driving off to Prince Benson. Misses everything. So now he gets the chant of air ball. 
Going to go back to Wilmington. Wilmington trailing 53-51 with 8.14 remaining in the game. Rick Phillips with all the action for you on CampusNation.com and also on the WilmingtonQuakers.com boxcast. They're trapping. Heidelberg trying to trap on Wilmington. Wilmington getting it up and over the timeline. DJ Isles is fouled as he tries to drive to the basket. Fouls on number 11, Michael Davis. So Davis with the foul and DJ will be bringing the ball in under the Wilmington basket. One foul for each team in the second half so far. Trying to get it in. Finally does. Andrew Russell with the ball. Trying to drive in. Passes off. Back to DJ. And stripped away from Noah Chapman. Trying to go up for the ball. It was stripped away, but it'll stay in the hands of the Quakers. DJ bringing the ball back in under the basket. Trying to get it in, has to take it all the way out to Will Patrick, almost center court. Will driving, dishes off to DJ, three, and it's in and out. Number 14 rebounds, Andrew Russell, back over to Christian Jones for two, or three, actually three. So Wilmington takes its first second half lead, 54 to 53. Heidelberg back, working the ball around. Back out to the top of the key. Trying to pass in to number one, Mike Mason. Back off. Back, and the ball is off the hands of Prince Benson. So the Hurt, oh, okay. The Quakers, I, I get my Wilmington's mixed up here. Wilmington will have the ball again. Uh, Christian Jones going to bring the ball in. Trying to get it in, he's got to take a timeout. Good defense by the Student Princes, so Wilmington has to take a timeout so that they don't turn the ball over. They've got the lead 54 to 53 with 17-20 remaining in the second half of play of the game. Got the Heidelberg broadcast crew here. They're up in the balcony. Two people. But look at it this way. Since I'm the only one here today, I'll get to eat twice what I normally pay in cheeseburgers. Looks like this must be a full timeout. This Monday, we've got uh, girls basketball. We're going to be at Beaver Creek for the Beavers against the Bellbrook Golden Eagles. Game gets underway with our pregame at 7 o'clock, tip-off at 7.30. So join us on CampusNation.com this Monday evening for Beaver Creek Beavers ladies basketball. All right. Breaking for the timeout. Wilmington with the lead by one, 54 to 53, 17 20 remaining in the game. Wilmington bringing the ball in, and they have the lead. Christian Jones passes the ball in. Right now, Will Patrick bringing the ball up quickly. Patrick off to Andrew Russell, to DJ Isles. Will Patrick thought about a three, back over to Christian Jones, back to DJ Isles. DJ trying to drive, goes under and off to Noah Chapman. The ball's going to be out, but retained by Wilmington. DJ will be bringing it in under the Quaker basket. Three seconds remaining on the shot clock, so they're going to have to shoot quickly. And it was put up by Noah Chapman. No good. Student Prince is down quickly. A drive, and is it a charge or a block? Block's going to be called on Noah Chapman. It's going to be a two-point or a two-shot foul, obviously. And Prince Benson will be going to the line, shooting two. 
And of course, uh, he can increase this to a three-point Student Prince lead. First shot by Benson is up and good. 56-54. Oh, just one shot. He must have made the basket. Down to number 14 and fouled. Andrew Russell's going to go to the line shooting too. Who's the foul on? Prince Benson with the foul. That's his second foul. That's Russell at the line shooting two. Wilmington trailing by two. 56 to 54 with 16.38 remaining in this game. First shot up and good. Mason in for the student princes. Russell with a second shot. Up and good. So it's all tied up. 56 all at 16.37 in the game. Student princes bringing the ball down over the timeline, passing it around top of the key. Trying to find a path to the basket, being cut off by Quakers. Oh, out of bounds. And turns over to Wilmington. Wilmington bringing the ball up. DJ Owls with the ball right now. Going to drive. Back out. Over to Will Patrick. Christian Jones thought about a three. Back to Patrick. Patrick over to Noah Chapman. DJ Isles with the ball, going in, pass off to Noah Chapman, and it's good. Wilmington with a two-point lead, 58-56. to Student Prince is back down the court quickly in the hands of Michael Davis. Over to Chris Moxley. Moxley takes the shot, and no good. Back out to Moxley. Moxley starting over. Out on the W. Moxley trying to drive, passes off. Screen set, number one going in, and he's fouled. And now we're going to have to see, that's before the basket. Mike Mason fouled. Looks like uh, Andrew Russell. Second personal foul for Andrew. Wilmington's third foul. Wilmington with three fouls. Heidelberg with two. Mike Mason's going to be at the line shooting two, down two to Wilmington. First shot, up, and no good, rolls around and out. Mason trying to get this one. Second shot up, and no good as well, but rebounded by Heidelberg, but tipped away, and Wilmington will take the ball. Christian Jones will be bringing the ball in, passing it in to, to Will Patrick. DJ Owls with the ball, driving, passing off to Noah Chat, or no, to uh, Cameron Moore in now. And the ball is out of bounds, but it is out on uh, the student princes. So DJ will be bringing the ball into the basket again. Trying to get it to Cameron Moore. Moore to Kevin Lewis. And we got to travel. Travel on Lewis. Fans don't like that call. So it'll be side out student princes. Ball's in. Across the timeline. Wilmington's been in a man-to-man -man the whole game, it looks like here. Ball in the hands of... Uh, is that a charge? Alex Arello with the foul. So it goes back to the Quakers. Quakers length of the court and out of bounds. Dead pass. 
Kevin Lewis, uh, I thought he wasn't coming back. It was so far out of bounds. So, goes back to the student princes. They trail by two. Wilmington up 58 to 56. They're trying to blind us. Blinded by the light. It messes mess with, mess with the sound. Like the light yeah, light. student princes with the ball under their basket. They get it in to Mike Mason. Mike dribbling around on the uh, left-hand side. Out to uh, C.J. Marshall. Marshall in the game now. Marshall trying to set up a play here. He's at the top of the key. Passes off to uh, Alex Arello. And taken away by D.J. Isles. D.J. coming down the court quickly, going up for the basket. Not it, but put back up and again by Cameron Moore. Well, we've got up 60 to 56 with 14.25 remaining. We got a foul on Cameron Moore. Over the back of uh, Mike Mason, or as we call a push from behind, because that's the legal terminology, per, jo per Joe Davis. So we got a timeout. Today's game being brought to you by the Memphis Style Barbecue of Bogards, 975 South South Street, right here in Wilmington, Ohio. Stop by. Dine in. Take out. Talk to Marty Bogart. Tell him how much you enjoy him helping bring these broadcasts to you of Wilmington College men's and women's basketball as well as all hurricane sports. Marty Bogart, big supporter of Wilmington and Wilmington sports and athletics. There's 14.23 remaining in this game. Wilmington is up by 460 to 56. Wilmington has four fouls and Heidelberg has three. No one is in real foul, foul trouble on either team. Heidelberg's going to have the ball. They have it under their basket. Trying to get it in. Time out. Heidelberg couldn't get it in. They had to call a quick time. Guess they don't want to play basketball. They just want to call timeout. <laughs> This coming week's activities on Campus Nation. Of course, we told you about the girls' high school basketball Monday night. On Tuesday night, the boys play. They play at Miami Trace. We'll be there for all the action. Starts at 7 o'clock with our pregame. That's January the 24th this coming Tuesday. Then Wednesday, we're back here for women's college basketball. The Polar Bears of Ohio Northern will come in to play the Fighting Quakers Wednesday. That game gets underway as well at 7 with our pregame. Okay, Heidelberg's going to bring the ball in. They're trailing 60 to 56. They've got it under their basket. And they do get the ball in in the hands of uh, Kier Benny. He tries a little shot there that does not work. Rolls out. Wilmington with the ball, bringing it back up over the half court mark. Peyton Smith bringing the ball up, passing it off to Kevin Lewis. Back to Peyton Smith. In the hands of Nathan Scott. Back to Jordan Jones. Back to Nathan Scott. Nathan passes in to uh, Peyton Smith. Ball goes out of bounds off Wilmington. Go. Goes back to the student princes as they trail by four. Wilmington just with light pressure. Nothing in full court or, or trapping mode. Top of the key. Number five, C.J. Marshall. They throw it away. So it's going to go back to Wilmington. A little bit of sloppiness here in this second half of play. But both teams. Jordan Jones is going to be inbounding the ball. And it uh, looks like the student princes are going to attempt to uh, full court press the uh, fighting Quakers as they try to get the ball in, in the hands of Peyton Smith. He's trying to get it across the half court line, and he does. Peyton Smith still with the ball, top of the key, passes off in the hands of Nathan Scott, and he makes three points. 
63-56, Quakers now with a very comfortable seven-point lead. Back, back quickly by the Student Princes. And they make two, 63-58. to 58. Looks like Chris Moxley with that score there. Back to the Quakers, working it around. Ball in the hands of Nathan Scott, takes a shot, no good. Student Prince is back with the ball. Driving back down the court, number four, Kier Benny. And back off to Chris Moxley. Taken away. Taken away by uh, Jordan Jones. He drives to the basket. It looks like he's fouled. So in the act of shooting, he was fouled by uh, DeAvery Collins, it looks like. So Jones will be going to the line. He'll be shooting two. Quakers already with a five-point lead, 63-58. First shot up, and Jones makes it. Jordan's second shot up, and good as well. Seven point Quaker lead, 65 58, 12 27 remaining in the ball game. Student Prince is down in the hands of uh, Kier Denny, who shoots a three. It's 65-61. What do we got here? So Nathan Scott is going to go to the line. Denny with the foul. He's going to take a seat. I don't know if I'd want to get footballers angry. So Nathan Scott shooting the first one good. 66-61. Nathan's second shot up and in and out. 66-61, Wilmington with a five-point lead. And Wilmington will have the ball. Christian Jones will be passing the ball in. Student Prince is applying pressure from the get-go. Wilmington getting the ball in finally. But we lose it out of the hands of William Green and into the hands of the Student Princes. And they lose it. Nope, they still have it. Back and forth. Chris Moxley with the ball, uh, up for two. 66-63. A lot of pressure being applied. Quakers get it over the timeline. Back to DJ Isles. Over to Christian Jones. Back to number 25, Nathan Scott. But slam a jam a camera four. 68-63, Wilmington a five-point lead with 11.37 remaining. Student Prince is now with the ball, working it around the line, driving in the hands of number 25, Chris Moxley. Moxley trying to drive to the basket. He's up and fouled. In the act of shooting, he'll be shooting two. Nathan Scott with that foul. Moxley's at the line. Going to try to uh, bring the student princes within three. First shot is up and good. 68-64. Each team with five fouls now. Second shot, up and good. Three-point Quaker lead, 68-65. Christian Jones trying to get it in. 
A lot of pressure to DJ Isles. DJ steps on the line. No, he's pushed. All right. So we have a pushing foul. Fouls on number 11, Michael Davis. So Jones again will try to get the ball in. Actually fouling DJ, trying to uh, hold him up, but the foul was not called. Christian Jones driving to the basket, passes off to Cameron Moore. And Moore is going to be charged, uh, called with a charge. So the ball goes back to the Student Princes, trailing 68 to 65. Not really a good call there. Kind of poor. Okay. Heidelberg bringing the ball up over the timeline. In the hands of Michael Davis. Three-point attempt and a foul. This time under the basket. Going to be on Cameron Moore again. And that is Cameron's fourth. He is now in what we would call foul trouble. That's the sixth Wilmington foul. Each team now with six fouls. Wilmington still with the lead, 68-65, with 11.03 remaining in this game. It's gotten into a foul fest. Student Prince is taking the ball out underneath their basket. Number 20, and... And who made that shot? Yep, Grohaus does make the basket, number 20. 68-67, Wilmington with a one-point lead. 10.53 remaining, Wilmington will be bringing the ball in. Christian Jones to DJ Isles, back to Christian. Up court to uh, Andrew Russell, back to DJ. DJ with the ball, top of the key, over to Andrew Russell, over to William Green, through the hands of Noah Chapman, back to DJ Isles. Top of the key, DJ driving, dishing off, and it's a miss by uh, William Green, and back to Heidelberg. Heidelberg bringing the ball quickly back across the court, driving and making the basket. No foul called, no charging, no anything. Number four, Kier Benny. And now Heidelberg with a one point, 69-68 lead with 10 minutes to go in this game. DJ with the ball, back on the Wilmington side of the court. A lot of action back to Heidelberg. Got a foul. Oh, got a walk. Go travel. Travel. So, turnover by Heidelberg. Wayne Green passes the ball over to Christian Jones. will bring the ball in. So, trailing by one, the Fighting Quakers have the ball. Christian Jones passes the ball in to Will Patrick. And we've got uh, Christian Jones driving the basket. He is fouled on the way to the basket. So Christian Jones will shoot two. One and one. Seventh foul on uh, Heidelberg. First one's good. I think that foul was on Connor Hutchinson. Second shot up and good. Wilmington has a lead now, 70 to 69. Student Prince is bringing the ball down over the timeline, driving number 25, Chris Moxley. No good, back to Wilmington. Rebound by Andrew Russell, off the DJ Isles. DJ driving, stolen away by the Student Princes. And once again, put up and fouled, Chris Moxley with the move. 
Back down the court, makes the basket and gets the uh, extra bonus. Patrick with the foul for the Quakers. Moxley to the line trying to give the Student Princes a two-point lead. 9.23 remaining. Both teams with seven fouls were in the one and one in both cases. But this will be a, an extra point. And it is up and good. So, two-point Student Prince lead. 72-70. 9.23 remaining. Wilmington will be bringing the ball in. Christian Jones will be getting the ball into DJ Isles, or, and DJ has the ball. Once again, uh, Student Prince is applying pressure right from the get-go. Pass to number 14, Andrew Russell, back to DJ Isles. Over to Christian Jones, on the left to Will Patrick. Back to number 14, Andrew Russell. To Will Patrick, back to Russell. Over to Christian Jones, a shot for three. And the lead change again. The Quakers up 73-72 with 8.52. And the ball kicked by Wilmington. Looks like Andrew Russell kicked the ball. Wilmington with a one-point lead with 8.50 remaining. Student Princes will inbound the ball. Looks like maybe in front of their bench. Oh, no, we got a foul on Russell. How did I miss that? How's it go from a kick to a foul? All right, so who's at the line? First one is missed, so that was a one and one. Wilmington back, and Heidelberg gets the ball. Still under the Heidelberg basket. Number 13 takes the shot. It's a miss. And Wilmington with the ball and the lead by one. DJ Isles with the ball. Back off to Christian Jones. Goes up. And what do we got here? A foul. And there will be a foul called. Christian Jones will go to the line to shoot. Hutchinson with another foul. That's just... Each team now with eight fouls. Going to the line, Christian Jones. He will take two shots. Wilmington with a one-point lead, 73-72. First one is up by Jones and good. Second shot. Mike Mason back into the uh, Student Prince lineup. He's a big guy. Jones with his second shot. Up and in and out. Heidelberg with the rebound. Wilmington with a two-point lead with 8.26 remaining in this game. Mike Mason falling back. No good. No, it wasn't Mike Mason. That was uh, Michael Schuler, it looks like, number three. DJ Oz with the ball. Passes off to... Uh, Nathan Scott in missed back in the hands of the student princes driving number five CJ Marshall and we got a foul the foul on Marshall fouls on Marshall so Marshall with the foul and going to the line will be Nathan Scott First one's good. Wilmington up 75-72. Second shot by Scott. Up. And it's good as well. 76-72 with 7.57 remaining in the game. Wilmington has a four-point lead. Student Prince is with the ball. At the top of the key, number 13, DeAvery Collins with the basket. Collins gets the basket. It's 76-74. Wilmington inbounds the ball. We got a foul. And the foul again on C.J. Marshall. 
And the foul was against Will Patrick. Will will be going to the line, and he will be shooting a double bonus. Student Prince is now with 10 Prince fouls. So Will Patrick at the line. First shot is up. No good. Too hard. Wait a minute. What do we got here? Andrew Russell back in the lineup. Will Patrick back to the line to shoot his second of uh, two shots. First one, or the first one was no good. Second one's up and no good as well. So two shots missed. And uh, the student prince is bringing the ball back down quickly in the hands of uh, Kier Benny. Over to uh, Connor Hutchinson. He makes a bad pass. DJ Isles now with the ball, bringing it back up for the Quakers. Top of the key. Over to Will Patrick. Will Patrick driving the lane and rejected. More substitutions for both teams. Lewis and Jones back in for the Quakers. DJ Owls will be bringing the ball in underneath the Quaker basket. 16 seconds remaining on the shot clock. What do we got here? What are they checking for? Oh, maybe something on the floor here. They want to make sure they get something wiped up if there's any perspiration or fluids on the floor. They're looking all around. I don't think they see any. Oh, they found something. So, the mop job is complete. We'll be able to resume the game. 7-12 remaining in the game. Wilmington up by two, 76-74. Wilmington has the ball underneath their basket. They will be inbounding. DJ Isles passes in. Nathan Scott back around. Nathan Scott, it's in his hands. Back to DJ Isles, over to Kevin Lewis. Lewis over to Jordan Jones, takes a three-point shot, and it is short, but recovered by Andrew Russell, and he is fouled. Moxley with the foul. Russell will be shooting two. Wilmington with a two-point lead. Russell trying to increase that by four. First one, no good. Rolls around in and out. These are critical. We need to make these. Still plenty of time. 6.54 remaining in this game. Anybody's game right now. Second shot up. And it is good. Three-point Wilmington lead. 77-74. Student Prince is down the court with the ball. And Andrew Grothaus makes the shot. And he will get the extra point if he can make it. So right now, it's 77-76. He can tie it up. Andrew going to the line, shooting one bonus. That's Wilmington's ninth foul. Andrew Russell taking a seat. Chapman back in for Russell. Both house with the shot, and no good. So Wilmington still has a one-point lead, but the Heidelberg gets the ball, and a shot from outside, no good. But there's a foul, and it was uh, clearing out by number one, Mike Mason, with the foul. So it looks like uh, Nathan Scott going to the line. Who is it? Nope, Noah Chapman going to the line. So, Mason with the foul, Chapman going to the line, he's going to be shooting two. Wilmington has a one-point lead, 6.38 remaining in this game. Wilmington's had the lead most of the second half now. First shot. In and out. Chapman misses the first shot, they're trying to make this tough on us. 
Everybody up here in the press box cringes when they don't make those free throws. Easy points, guys. Come on. Noah with his second shot. Up. And it, too, is not good. There's a lane violation, it looks like. All right. So Wilmington, lane violation. It goes back to Heidelberg with 6.36 remaining in this game. Number four, Kier Benny misses. Noah Chapman with the rebound. Quick pass to number 10, Jordan Jones. He is hacked going to the basket. Shot is no good, but he'll shoot two. Prince Benson with his third personal foul. Wilmington with a one point lead, gonna try to increase it to three. We gotta make these guys, come on. Jordan Jones, first shot, good. 78-76, Wilmington with the lead. Jordan for his second shot, up. And it too is good. 78, 79, 76. Three point Wilmington lead, 621 remaining. Quickly down the court. Out to the top of the key, over to the right side. Pass quick into Kier Benny. Scott with the foul for the Quakers. Kier Benny will go to the line. He'll shoot two. Basket was no good. Both teams now in the double bonus. They each have ten fouls. 6-11 remaining in the game. Wilmington has a three-point lead, but Benny's going to try to cut this down. First shot's going to be up. There we go. Good. 79-77. Trying to bring the uh, student princes within one. Kier shot up. And good. One point Wilmington lead. 6-11 remaining in the game. Wilmington trying to get it in. Full pressure by the student princes. They take it away, but back to Wilmington. Right now Jordan Jones bringing the ball up. Passes off to DJ Isles. DJ on the W. Screen set by Chapman. Ball back in, but thrown away. Student Prince is down quickly. They lose the ball. Back out, and it's on the Student Princess, so Wilmington will have the ball. We're mixing it up, folks. 5.48 remaining. Wilmington with this slim one-point lead. Both teams in foul trouble in the sense that it's a uh, double bonus situation, and we've got a foul. Oh, mixing it up here. Number 11, Michael Davis, and DJ Isles mixing it up on the court here. Fans do not like it. Foul's going to be on Davis. DJ going to go to the line shooting two. If this doesn't fire you up, I don't know what will. The both teams sort of talking it over with their coaches and coaching staff. The uh, Zebras are, uh, they're discussing, I, I guess, whether, what, how they're going to call this foul um, and whether it was flagrant. And, uh, you know, I don't know that it would result in an, an ejection, but uh, we'll have to see. They may be just talking about where they're going to go eat. They'll have to move quickly if they're going to eat at Bogart. So uh, our recommendation, guys, is Bogart. Wilmington's football team, they're, they're ready for some action. They want to hit someone. Figuratively, of course. All right, so the refs talk it over. We'll see what the results are. Right now we know DJ Isles will go to the line shooting something. Mm -hmm. 
They've made their decision. They've come out from under the hood. We'll know whether this is uh, a first down or not. They're going over and talking with... Uh, Crowd's getting into it. They're doing some chants, and uh, Kevin Lewis is dancing a little to the chants. He's got the rhythm, right? Oh, yeah. So you know Kevin Lewis is the person to invite to your party if you want to really rock. <laughs> Still trying to get this all figured out here, folks. As soon as we know, we'll pass it on to you. All right, so it looks like there were, there were two technical fouls called here, one on each player. DJ Isles has a technical called on him. So I don't know whether there'll actually be any sh sh shots as far as the technicals. Maybe they will, but DJ is at the line right now, and he'll be shooting two for the regular foul. First one is up, and no good. And Wilmington with the slimmest of leads, one point, 79-78. DJ is going to shoot his second foul. It's up, and it's good. So... Technicals are not being uh, shot, they're just being assessed. It's 80 to 78, Student Prince is with the ball. Bringing it down, working it around, up to the top of the arch. Over to number 20, Andrew Grohaus. There's a scrum on the floor, it's a jump ball, and it's gonna go back to Wilmington. And it will, it's going back to Wilmington with a two point lead, 5.33 remaining in the game. Boy, we're having fun, aren't we? I thought that was your stomach. I thought you were hungry. It was just an alert on my phone here. All right, DJ Isles bringing the ball up. Passes off to number three, Will Patrick. It's no good. Rebound, Student Princess. Student Princess with the ball. Number 25 takes the shot, Chris Moxley. No good. Back to Wilmington. DJ Isles bringing the ball back up with a two-point Wilmington lead. 80 to 78 with five minutes remaining in this game. Going to go down to the wire, it looks like. DJ off to Will Patrick. Over to Nathan Scott. Over to Christian Jones. Back to Nathan Scott. Nathan drives. Puts up a little short one and it's good. Four point Wilmington lead. 82-78. Student Prince is back with the ball. Bringing it up. Number 33, Connor Hutchinson. Almost lost the ball. Downtown. Three. No good. Wilmington back with the ball. Will Patrick bringing the ball up in the hands of DJ Isles now. Isles on the W. Setting the play up. 17 seconds remaining on the shot clock. In the hands of Will Patrick. Shot by number 25, Nathan Scott. No good. Off the basket. Student Prince is with the ball. Back down the court. What? Got a foul? A foul for turning around. Very strange. Oh my 
Foul's going to be on Nathan Scott, it looks like. That was a poor call. Nothing can explain that. Once again, it's going to be the double bonus with the attempt to bring within two. Chris Moxley is going to be at the line shooting two. 3.56 remaining in the game. First shot up, no good. So Moxley misses his first shot. Wilmington still ahead by four. Moxley can cut the lead to three with this make. 3.56 remaining. Both teams in the double bonus. Second one up and good. We got a timeout. Student Princess call timeout. Eighty-two to seventy-nine. Three fifty-six remaining in the game. Wilmington with it a slight edge. They've maintained most of the second half the lead, but it's been razor thin. You're listening to CampusNation.com, the sports animal. Your home for high school and college sports. Rick Phillips with you, bringing all the action, flying solo today. Most of my crew, they're busy with other games that they uh, either coach in, none of them actually play, or ref. Joe Davis, one of our uh, coaches, coaches girls basketball and does ref. This is his last year, I think he's retiring. This Monday, we've got Beaver Creek against Bellbrook in girls basketball. The game will start at 7 with our pregame, and uh, we'll be at Beaver Creek at Zinc Fieldhouse for that game. So tune in. And then Tuesday, we've got the Wilmington boys. The Hurricane will be at Miami Trace uh, playing the Panthers, who beat Wilmington for the first time in a few years. Uh, the other night, uh, well, earlier in the year, by five. So Wilmington's going to try to return the favor and uh, beat the uh, Miami Trace Panthers. And then women's college basketball, the Polar Bears of Ohio Northern end to face the Fighting Quaker women uh, this coming Wednesday. That game also a 7 o'clock pregame start. So Wilmington will be inbounding the ball. Christian Jones will be uh, bringing it in or throwing it in. Student Princess with full court pressure. DJ Isles with the ball. They're trying to trap him. Passes back over to Christian Jones. Back to DJ Isles over the timeline. At the W. Isles still with the ball on the right-hand side. Passes it in. In the hands right now of uh, Cameron Moore. Back out to Christian Jones. Jones trying to drive the basket. Dishes off to Moore. But he's fouled. So Moore goes to the basket, doesn't make it, but he is fouled, so he'll shoot two. Mike Mason with the foul. First shot for Cameron. No good. Wilmington's not really shot well from the line. A lot of opportunities. They could have put this game away a long time ago if they would have made their free throws. Cameron with his second shot. And it's not good. Kier Benny with the uh, rebound. And the student princes are down now across the timeline at the top of the key with uh, Benny. Benny uh, dribbling around. Hands off to uh, D. Avery Collins who tries the shot. It's no good. And rebounded by Cameron Moore, but he's got to be careful there when he clears out like that with his elbows or he's going to get called for a foul. DJ Isles with the ball now. Over to Will Patrick. Will Patrick. Over to number 25, Nathan Scott. Back to DJ Isles. DJ back over to Will Patrick. Top of the key. Nathan Scott with a shot. It's off. It was a shot clock violation, did not hit any iron. 
So it goes back to the student princess. Wilmington's lead, 82 to 79. Three point Wilmington lead with 237 remaining in the game. Both teams with 10 fouls were in the double bonus. Student Prince is bringing the ball in. No pressure on the part of Wilmington. They get across the timeline. <laughs> Sierra Benny fouled by DJ Isles. <laughs> Third personal foul for DJ. Kier will go to the line shooting two. Good little mop work there at the uh, foul free throw line. Two thirty-one remaining in the ball game. Wilmington has a three-point lead, but we've got uh, Kier Benny at the line, shooting two. He can cut this lead to one with two made free throws. Benny's first shot up, and it rolls out. No good. Cameron Moore back in. Andrew Russell back in. Benny with the second shot. It's good. 82-80. Wilmington with a thread of a, of a lead. 82-80. Two-point lead for Wilmington with 2.31 remaining in this game. Wilmington trying to get it inbound. DJ with the ball. And almost. But it stays with Wilmington. Christian Jones will pass it in again. Jones gets it into Will Patrick, over to DJ Isles. DJ bringing the ball up over the timeline, being pressured all the way up. DJ at the top on the W with the ball, setting things up with 2.15 remaining in the game. 11 seconds on the shot clock, in the hands of Will Patrick. Over and shot by Christian Jones, no good. Two-point Wilmington lead with the Student Prince is bringing the ball back down. In the hands of Chris Moxley. Back to Chris. Chris trying to take the shot. Back in, under, and over, and good, and tied up. Wilmington with the ball, bringing it in. It's all tied up, 82-82. Andrew Russell. Over to Christian Jones, back to DJ Isles. 126 remaining in the game, in the hands of Andrew Russell. Back over to Will Patrick. Driving is number 24. Cameron Moore goes to the basket and it's good. Two point Wilmington lead with 112 remaining in the game. Number four, Kier Benny with the ball. Number 25, Chris Moxley driving. Back out to number 13, Avery Collins takes the shot. It is no good, it was in and out. We got a foul. We've got a foul on Cameron Moore. They said he was clearing out. Back into the, uh, back into the, uh, so Benson will be going to the line. Fifty-seven point seven seconds remaining. Wilmington with a two-point lead. Brent Benson should be going to the line, shooting two. Can tie it up. Mm -hmm. 
So Nathan Scott replaces uh, Cameron Moore. Prince Benson to the line, shooting two. Crowd's already chanting air ball. He has an even shot. First one up and good. 84-83, Wilmington with that slim one-point lead. Once again, the chant of air ball. Second one, no good. Rebounded by Christian Jones. DJ has the ball now. A lot of pressure. What do we got? Timeout, Wilmington. So, KC Hunt wants to talk this over with his crew. There's 51.4 seconds. Wilmington has a 84-83 lead. And the ball. You're listening to CampusNation.com. I'm Rick Phillips. Glad to bring you this exciting Wilmington Fighting Quaker basketball, men's basketball. We've got the women this next Wednesday, and they'll be uh, hosting Ohio Northern. The Polar Bears will be coming in. The Polar Bears were uh, one of the two teams chosen to uh, win the league on the women's side. So this should be a good matchup. The women for Wilmington have been on a roll, doing some pretty good basketball playing. All right, so we'll set this up for you. Wilmington has the ball. They have a one-point lead, 84 to 83. We have 51.4 seconds remaining in this game, short of going into overtime. We try not to mention that, but I'm the only one here, so I guess, uh, you know, if it's overtime, it's overtime. Both teams are shooting double bonus. Full pressure applied by the student princes. They're trying to trap. DJ gets it off. Back to DJ over the timeline. In the hands of Christian Jones. Back to DJ Isles on the W. 10 seconds on the shot clock. In the hands of Will Patrick. Almost lost, but Christian Jones has the ball. A shot by number 25 for three. Nathan Scott. And of course, he made it. You can tell by the crowd. A three-point shot and a foul. A foul called on Nathan Scott. And Kier Benny will go shooting three with 20.1 seconds. Wilmington right now with an 87-83 lead. So Benny was in the act of shooting three, and uh, Nathan Scott called for that foul, which will result in three shots at the basket. Twenty point one clicks left on the time clock. Can't get any better than this, can it? All right, Benny at the line, first shot is good, 87-84, three-point Wilmington lead. Heidelberg will have to foul the minute the Wilmington gets their hands on the ball. Second shot, good. 87-85 lead. This is the third shot. He was shooting a three. Third shot. No good. Wilmington with a two-point lead. De 
Wilmington's getting the ball and fouled before they get it over the uh, line, but Will Patrick will be going to the uh, to the line to shoot. Vince Benson with the foul. That is his fourth. Patrick to the line, shooting two, with Wilmington leading by two. 15.3 seconds on the clock. First shot by Will. Up. Too strong. Second shot by Patrick. Up. And no good. So, student princes have the ball. They are down by two. And there's 10 seconds remaining. Driving to the basket. Putting it up. And in we are tied. 87 all with six and a half seconds left on the clock. Wilmington, DJ Isles has the ball. Takes a three. No good. We are in overtime. So, at the end of regulation, Wilmington and Heidelberg tied 87 all. So we will be uh, going into overtime, playing an additional amount of time for overtime. Isn't that fun? So now I'm on time and a half. Well, we hope you're enjoying the game, both uh, on CampusNation.com, the sports animal, and also on Wilmington's BoxCast. What's that? You got a woman's final. You want to Thank you. The Lady Quakers, they win. 77-64 uh, at Heidelberg. So, Lady Quakers on a roll. Congratulations. And we are, of course, in overtime. 87 all with five minutes left on the clock for this overtime period. So you're getting extra coverage on Campus Nation and also on WilmingtonQuakers.com, the box cast. So the uh, Lady Quakers are successful at Heidelberg. Let's see if the men can pull this one off right here at home. We're tied 87 all. We've got five points in the overtime. We're going to tip the ball back off. Both teams at center court. Looks like Benson will be going against Chapman. Ball is up. Quakers get the ball. DJ Isles with the ball. Back across the W. Andrew Russell with the ball. Over to Christian Jones. And uh, number 30, Noah Chapman with the basket. Wilmington with a two-point lead. Student Prince is now with the ball. Working the ball around. Going to the basket, number 13, and he makes it. The Avery Collins. So Collins with the basket, tied up again, 89 all. Number 14, Andrew Russell with the ball. He passes it off, but bad pass, fast break, and good. The student princes now lead by two. 4-13 remaining in the game. DJ Isles with the ball, Quakers down by two, 89-91. Student princes up. Christian Jones with the ball, passing off to Will Patrick. Over to DJ, the shot. And no good by uh, Noah Chapman follows his. So who are they going to call the foul on? <laughs> so Kier Benny with the foul.
We'll have to see whether it's Chapman that goes to the line or not. No. It's Will Patrick. No. It's Christian Jones. So Jones is at the line. Quakers tra trail by two. 91-89. 3.55 remaining in the uh, overtime period. Christian's first shot is up and no good. Jordan Jones in for Will Patrick. Christian Jones' second shot. It's up. And good. So, Quakers trail by one. 91-90. Dave and Scott back in the ball game. Student Princess bring the ball down across the timeline. Working the ball around is number four, Kier Benny. He shoots, and no good. Rebound by Noah Chapman. DJ with the ball. Coming across the timeline on the W. Setting the play up. DJ passes off to Christian Jones, who drives to the basket, and he is fouled by number three, or number two, Prince Benson. So he fouls out. Benson is out. So, Christian Jones will be at the line. He will be shooting two. Prince Benson for the uh, Student Princes has fouled out. So he's really a Student Prince because he's Prince, Prince Benson. All right, first shot for Christian. Up and no good. Boy, these foul shots are killing me. Okay, second shot can tie us up. Jones' is shot up and good. So we're all tied at 331, 91 all in the first overtime. And I'm going to say the first overtime because we don't know. Student Prince is with the ball, driving. Shot by number 20 and a good three-point play by Andrew Rojas. So, 94-91, three-point Student Prince lead. Wilmington bringing the ball up. DJ Isles has the ball, passes off to number 25, Nathan Scott, under to Jordan Jones. Ball stays with Wilmington. No foul. Wilmington down by three. DJ gonna pass the ball in, passes it out to Nathan Scott. Over to Jordan Jones, over to DJ, three-pointer, good. Kristen Jones with three points. We're all tied up 94 all in this first overtime. Student Princes now with the ball, working it around. They're on the right-hand side, right there at the elbow, trying to find a way to drive the basket. Passed off, and we got a travel. So, going back to the Quakers. We're all tied up 94 all with 2.36 remaining in this first overtime. Wilmington's going to be taking it out in front of the Student Prince's bench. Got a timeout, Wilmington. Coach Hunt wants to talk it over, wants to figure out what we're going to do for these last 2.36. You're listening to Campus Nation. I'm Rick Phillips, and we're bringing you college men's basketball here on the network. We're also boxcasting on WilmingtonQuakers.com. I hope he's your fiance. 
<laughs> Ma'am, I'm just checking. <laughs> Can I see your ID? Can I see your ID? I gotta see your ID. <laughs> I'm gonna get her in trouble here. <laughs> So we're all tied up here with 2.36 remaining in this first overtime. 94 all. Both teams in the double bonus. You're getting extra time here on Campus Nation and also on WilmingtonQuakers.com, the box cast. Hope you're enjoying the game. We're enjoying bringing it to you. We've got the Heidelberg Media here too. They're up there in the balcony overlooking the arena right here at Fred Risk Arena at Herman Court. So, Wilmington taking it out in front of the Heidelberg bench. All tied up. DJ Isles with the ball. A little pressure here from uh, the Student Princess. DJ trying to get it across the timeline. He does. Passes off to uh, Nathan Scott. The ball for three and good. I know it's Or no, that was actually by Jordan Jones. Stays with uh, stays with Heidelberg. Was that Chapman or Jones that made that? That was Chapman, wasn't it, that made that three-pointer? That was uh, Jordan Jones. It was Jones. Okay, all right, just checking. All right, Student Prince is with the ball. They... Uh, Trail by three, but they've got two back. It's 97-96. DJ Owls with the ball, bringing it across the timeline. He's fouled. Number 20 commits the foul, Andrew Grillhouse. DJ Owls to the line, shooting two. Wilmington with a one-point lead. 156 remaining in this first overtime. First shot is up and good. Good. Everybody can exhale that one. All right, DJ with his second shot. Up. And it too is good. Wilmington with a three-point lead. 99 to 96. Student Prince is with the ball, working it around in the hands of number 13, DeAvery Collins. Back around, Wilmington with the ball, but out of bounds, and it stays with Wilmington. So, Wilmington with a three-point lead, 143 remaining in the first overtime, and Wilmington has possession of the ball. Christian Jones will be throwing the ball in. DJ's trying to get the ball. He gets it. Some pressure on the part of uh, the Student Princes. DJ gets it across the timeline, standing on the W. Over to Nathan Scott. Nathan Scott with the ball back to DJ Isles. Nathan Scott with a screen. DJ goes in for the shot, and it's off. Not fouled. Student Princess with the ball, trailing by three. All the way, and in. <laughs> Chris Moxley with that basket. One point Wilmington lead in the hands of Christian Jones. One minute remaining in this first overtime period. DJ Isles now with the ball. 15 seconds on the shot clock in the hands of Christian Jones. On the left hand side drives the basket, passes off to number 10, back to DJ Isles. Five seconds, four seconds. DJ has to get the ball up. He throws up a prayer. It is no good. So let's uh, let's show you what we've got here. We have a timeout. So let's recap. We have 38.2 seconds remaining in this first overtime. Wilmington 98. Heidelberg, or Wilmington 99, Heidelberg 98, but Heidelberg has the ball. So, Heidelberg could conceivably run off all but 8.2 seconds. That still would be enough time for Wilmington to have one more possession and get it up the floor. 
All this exciting basketball being brought to you by Bogart's Southern Barbecue. They're right here in Wilmington at 975 South South Street. Marty Bogart, proprietor. Stop in and see him. You can carry out. You can eat in their dining room. You can even go through the drive-thru to pick it up. So it doesn't look like Wilmington is going to apply any pressure, at least for the inbound. Okay, Heidelberg bringing the ball in across the half-court line. Wilmington dropping back. Still playing man-to-man. -man. Heidelberg with the ball, running their route in the hands of number four, and he's fouled. Kier Benny is fouled. No, just loses the ball. There's no foul. Heidelberg's coach trying to figure out who he wants to take the ball in. So no foul. Ball is brought back in, in the hands right now of... It's a three-pointer, and it's good. Wilmington has the ball. Thrown down court, passed off, and in... 17 seconds, 101 to 101, 13 seconds, Heidelberg's going to get the last shot, 6 seconds, 4 seconds, up and fouled, 2.9 seconds on the clock, 101 to 101, there'll be 2 shots, who's going to the line? Fouls on DJ Isles. Shooting two. And Moxley is at the line. So Moxley could possibly win this for Heidelberg. First shot is up and good. 102-101. Two point nine seconds. You're going to have to move that ball quickly. It's going to be very hard to get it down, and more than likely the student princess will try to apply at least a little bit of pressure. Moxley for his second shot. It's good. Timeout, Wilmington. All right, recapping it. We're in the first overtime. Two point nine seconds remaining. Heidelberg up by two. One hundred three to one hundred one. Both teams hitting the century mark. Both teams shooting the double bonus. Wilmington's got 2.9 seconds to get the ball down the court and to attempt a basket. And of course, it would more than likely have to be a three-pointer, which if made would result in a Wilmington win by one. If lost, or if not made, then obviously Heidelberg's gonna win by two. But win or lose, this has been a great ball game. Be nice if we won, though. Timeout, over, 2.9 seconds. Wilmington will have the ball, 
they will have to bring it the full length of the court in 2.9 seconds. So it's going to be more or less a pass in and a turn around and a shoot. And who's calling time this time? So Heidelberg kind of looking maybe to see where everybody was positioned, and they take a timeout. So we're back to no action. 103-101, Heidelberg with the lead, Wilmington with the ball, 2.9 seconds. We're in the first overtime. And I would say it's a pretty good uh, guess that there will not be a second overtime any way we look at this. It'll either be a one-point Wilmington win or it will be a two-point Heidelberg win. Okay, it looks like Jordan Jones will be uh, attempting to get the ball in. We've got uh, DJ Isles, we have Nathan Scott, and we've got, it looks like Christian Jones. The ball is in, and foul, that looked like a foul. Oh wow. That was a no call. And in attempting to get the ball in, DJ Isles was literally mugged, and, the, and it was not called. So, the final, Heidelberg 103, Wilmington 101. Well, the only thing I can figure is the refs had somewhere to go after the game. They had to get the B-dubs real quick. Their table was being waited on. Yeah, that, 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 that was one of a few questionable calls, but it looked like DJ Isles was actually uh, fouled in the process of attempting to get the ball. They did not uh, call it, and uh, the game is over. So, unfortunate as it is, uh, and we do not and will not have the uh, second half stats for the game, but... Uh, we invite you to tune in Monday night as we will have the Beaver Creek Beavers and the uh, the team from uh, Bellbrook, the Golden Eagles. They'll be playing. Our uh, game will start at 7 o'clock with our pregame. Well, this is Rick Phillips for uh, CampusNation.com, the sports animal, and the Quaker Network. Uh, we want to thank you for listening, and uh, good night, everybody. Go Quakers.